Tell me the whole story. Just pretend I'm your uncle, like you're pretending she's your aunt. Pardon? Now, listen, I know there's a lot of monkey business going on. All I want to be sure of is that my friend Bill isn't going to be the monkey. No? No. Now, come on. Too many people about, we'll go to the bar. No, no, I don't go to the bar. Well, you have to drink. I don't drink anything with you. Well, then, back we go to the table, and I tell you the whole story. I, I, I drink a champagne cocktail. Fine. Champagne cocktails. Yes, sir. Well, I'm all ears. So you won't talk, huh? All right, you don't have to. I'll do the talking. Now, this whole act is to impress Bill that you're a nice gal from a nice family. You want to marry him, and then in a few months you'll divorce him and then live happily ever after on the alimony, right? It's a very cheap, dishonest idea, and I think that. Shall I go on? Go ahead. I can took it. Good. I can dish it out, too. I want you to lay off Bill. I want you to tell him the truth. Because if you don't, I will. But you don't know anything about me. I know enough about you. You were in my office three weeks ago with another kind of a racket. And once Bill hears about that, mademoiselle, you're fini. And then I know... Uh, mademoiselle, your dinner is already served. Are you here again? Here? Why, yes, sir. I've been in this hotel for 11 years. Well, will you get out of here for five minutes? Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Thank you. Decided who'll tell him? I'll tell him. Good. Tomorrow? Oh, no, no. You're going to tell him right now while I'm here. I started this thing and I want to be in on the finish. All right. You'll see the finish. Sorry to be rough on you, but war is war. You said it, Mr. Trevor. That's strange. They're not dancing. Hmm? Oh, they must be. I just saw them. A Oh, there they are. Where? At the bar. Oh, yes. What are they doing over there? Well, I know one way to find out. Let's join them. Nice friend I have. I've heard that man's best friend is always the dog. Here they come. All right. I, I try to do a good job. Remember us? I just known to be you for a dance, but this is going too far. Oh, Bill, I'm sorry, but we've been talking, and shall I tell him now? Certainly. Go ahead. Tell me why. A story. Oh. Mr. Trevor wants me to tell you a story. Oh, uh, don't you think you better tell me first? <laughs> no, no, I can tell it to everybody. He wants me to tell you that I once went to his office and... That's right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> well, he was taking photographs, and I was supposed to be a model to pose with drugs. <laughs> and, and he says it will be a big joke. Do you think it's funny? <laughs> Very funny. Excruciating. Don't you see why it's so funny? Because I've never posted one picture and he's not a photographer. Everybody knows this. <laughs> and, and he says, do you know what he says? He says, if I tell you this, he's going to take me out for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> you little double cross, huh? <laughs> I beg your pardon, Mr. Trevor. We'd better leave, Mr. Duncan. I'll see you to your rooms. Mr. Trevor seems to be a very peculiar man. I'm sorry, I could have sworn he was sober. That'll be 250, sir. Take out for the glass, too, please. Uh, the glass is on me, sir. 